It's Mamie from Power 95.9, and I have an in-studio guest. It's John T. Wayne. He is an author of some great Western books, and also he's the grandson of the Duke, John Wayne. Now, you're here in Texarkana for the Gathering of the Authors, and it's an event going on at the Arkansas Side uh, Convention Center. Now, we were talking about, uh, you know, because I was going to ask questions about how long you've been writing, but I think this is all going to kind of tie in together. You came to the very first event. I did. I uh, I was at the first event, although I didn't have a book out yet, and I uh, just wanted to see what was going on. I've been writing for 30 years. Uh-huh. 30. I, That's a long time. Yeah. I, I started writing in 1985, so I guess it's 31 years now. And uh, I, I was doing that mostly at, at first just to keep my head screwed on straight because I lost my daughter to cancer. Oh, no. At so the that, age of five. Wow. Yeah. So that this the causes behind this gathering of authors really reached out to you then. Yeah, now that they're 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 hooked up with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, you know it's a it's a cause that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's kind of hard to talk about sometimes, but yeah. uh, you know there's no easy easy way to lose a child, and and uh, you know it was just a rough thing to go through. And uh, but there's a lot of help out there for people now. And, and other people that have been through it are there to help you along. So. And I, I we've known um, Tammy for a while. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she came in and started talking to us about this event that she was going to put on. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you went to the first one. You didn't have a book. Now, how many books do you have out? Well, I have six books out. I've got three of them that are off the shelf right now because we're redoing them through my current publisher. Okay. I bought back the rights to them so we could do that. Um, we'll have all three of those out sometime this next year with a couple of others, I believe, so I should have eight out by this time next year. Oh, that's great. Now, um, the one that you have that you brought in today is the showdown at the Scatter Creek. Now, it says the Gaslight Boys. Now, the Gaslight right. Boys do more things because this says a series. Well, it's a series. The Gaslight Boys are the orphans created by the Civil War. Okay. That's what I write about. And you're doing a breakout session about right. the orphans of the Civil War. That's right. Tomorrow. Nobody, nobody seems to know what happened. Uh, prior to the Civil War, we didn't have cowboys. Okay. Okay. Once the Civil War got up before we had to steam, the ranchers out west couldn't hire a grown man. So they started hiring the orphans created by the Civil War. And I call them the Gaslight Boys, but they really became the cowboys. That is very interesting. I, I love history. I love history. Yeah. And the history of your family is very interesting as well. Well, that's, yeah, it's a little bit interesting. Uh, it's really interesting, and I do have an autobiography coming okay. that explains in detail how I found out I was the Duke's grandson because I didn't know it. Here's those chills again. Go I ahead. didn't know it for 52 <laughs> years, and, and, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, and it's obvious to, to me, you know, now that I know, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, I mean, so many similarities. And the fact that you were writing Westerns before you knew yeah, for thir- for twenty five years before I had any idea. It just runs in yeah. in in. It's in something in the blood. It is. Yeah, it's in the blood. I think that's great. Uh, so if you want to learn more about the event that's going on this weekend, you can go to power nine five nine dot com and check out my story on the gathering of the authors. And I I featured a little bit of your information in there. Love it, and uh, look forward to reading more about your books. That would be great. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody. We do have a, a author's uh, dinner tonight. You know, if you'd like to come out and rub shoulders with a few of us, we'll be there, and we're not stuck up or nothing, so you can say hi to us. Very laid back, and uh, all the details are on our website, and uh, thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Thank you.